Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, I'll be covering the latest news as a lot has happened throughout the day. So let's get straight into it. Starting out to the southwest of Bakhmut, in the southern flank, the Ukrainian forces continue their advances and they now have control over everything to the left side of the canal. Uh, as we see throughout the whole canal, the Ukrainian forces now have full control over it. So the Russian forces have no bridge head across the canal anymore. And at the same time, we saw this advance earlier today, so they are continuing the advances here to the southwest of the city. However, within the city, we have seen significant Russian advances. First off, by the Jezhkovsko Street, we see that the Russian forces have managed to capture everything to the east of it, and they are now fighting by, along the street on the whole southern fr uh, front. And then we see by the domino area of, of the citadel area, the Russian forces have managed to capture all of it, except for a few buildings. So now the citadel area has fallen and only the Russian forces stand in the citadel area so far. So we see now that the only places left of the Ukrainian, under Ukrainian control are the residential areas to the south and northwest of the city. And we see to the northwest there's very few buildings and most likely the Ukrainian forces are already retreating from here. Which means that the Ukrainian forces have completely lost the northwest and are in the midst of either retreating or holding their ground without any chance of retreating and then we have to the southwest a continuous hardcore battle here to the southwest and a continuous ukrainian retreat from the southern parts so we see that the russian forces are very few days from fully capturing the city now and they're very close at the completely taking over the whole area so in that case, the, if the Russian forces manage to capture Bakhmut, then they'll be able to send all of their forces to the flanks to start protecting them, or just attack Ivanivska and Romovo themselves, which would be attacking the Ukrainian uh, flanks. If the Russian forces manage to capture Ivanivska, for example, then they'll be able to uh, outflank the Ukrainian forces trying to capture the southern parts. So the fall of Bakhmut would be very detrimental to the Ukrainian current undergoing counteroffensive by the flanks of Bakhmut, as it will allow the Russian forces to advance towards Chesev Yar from the Bakhmut area through both roads of Khomova and Ivanivska, and for them to essentially reinforce their flanks to prevent further Ukrainian advances in these areas. We also see here to the north of Zakhoyevanseti that the Ukrainian forces uh, have this part, and the latest news suggests that they continue attacking, but they have not managed to advance further. So this information by Remy was confirmed. So in the end, we see that the Ukrainian forces have continuously attacked the flanks. However, it is not going fast enough as the Russian forces are very close at fully capturing the city and there's only a few smaller buildings left. And that is all for this update. Thank you for watching and have a great day.